Hey ham fam, thank you for joining me today. So this evening I'm going to be doing a bit of a spot clean on both of the hamsters cages. They're a little bit messy so they need a little bit of a tidy and a clean and I thought I would bring you all along with me. So we're starting off with Albus's cage this evening and first of all I'm just going to take out all of the items that I can't work around. I'm going to shake out any of the Carefresh bedding that's inside them and just make sure I'm brushing off any of the dirty bits of bedding that are there. As you can see Albus decided to pop out and say hello so I did spend a little bit of time just giving him a bit of a fuss and a cuddle and spending a little bit of time with him before I carried on. Once I'd taken out most of the items in his cage, I then started to sort through the bedding and pick out any of the soiled areas. This is mainly where he sleeps and his sand bath, but there are a few little spots here and there, so I like to make sure that I get any of the dirty bedding out. Once all the dirty spots are out, I do start to add things back into his setup, so I'm quite lucky he doesn't tend to wee on his wheel or anything like that, so it is mostly his sand bath that I have to clean, um, but I'm going to just give everything a little bit of a tidy as I'm popping it back in and make it look all nice for him. <laughs> Usually when I spot clean the last thing I have left to clean is his sand bath so I go ahead and empty all of the dirty sand out into the rubbish bag and then I'm just going to take it and wash it but I decided to do this off camera today so I'm going to pop all of the other little items back in um, and then I'm going to refill up his sand bath and add that in at the end. So I really thought the camera angle was lower than it was here, so I apologise that you can't really see what I'm doing, but once his sand bath's nice and clean, I'm just going to add in some fresh sand and then add that all back into his cage, ready for him to use. That is Albus's cage, nice and clean again. The last thing I do is just add back in his water bottle, water dish and his food bowl, and he is all set. So next we have to move over onto Iroh's cage. Next up we have our little Mr Scrooge himself, so with Iroh's cage I tend to clean a little bit differently, um, I tend to do it in sections rather than taking everything out just because it's a bit easier. So first of all I'm going to just grab him and pop him into his little carrier, he is not as happy as Albus is to just stay in his cage whilst I'm cleaning and he will try and bite me if I do this so it's easier to just get him out and pop him away so he's not as stressed whilst I am in there. <laughs> I'm going to start over in this corner here first of all and this is because this is mainly where he has been weeing at the moment so I like to just move all of the items out of the way so I can make sure that there's no spots that I miss and then I'm going to go ahead and just scoop out this corner first so this is the worst corner in his cage because Iroh does have diabetes I do have to clean him out a lot more regularly um, and I'm just going to make sure that I get all of this area out as it was all damp. I'm also going to use some disinfectant spray in this area just to make sure there is no mold growth there and everything is kept nice and clean for him. Once that corner was done I had a little check around to make sure there was no other wet spots and then added it back in all of the items into this area. I try not to disturb the patch at the back just because that was where he is sleeping currently so I made sure to leave that alone as much as possible. 
He can also be quite messy when it comes to the dish that I keep his water on, so I make sure I give that a good wipe down and pop that back in as well. And the same with his food bowl too. Then I'll look for any other areas with damp spots so you can see that he's been weeing a lot here as well as in his sand bath too. So both of these areas need cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all of the soiled bedding from here and take out his sand bath and I'm going to replace that all as well. Once his sand bath is clean I do one more check around just to make sure I've not missed any spots and then I'll begin to add back in all of the items into his cage. I definitely managed to get a better angle for you guys here so once again I'm using the Pets at Home Desert Sand. I don't tend to add in as much for Iroh's cage as I do for Albus just because he goes through it far quicker um, so he gets a small amount less. That is everything completed and done, so all that's left to do is to add Iroh back into his cage, pop the lids back on and settle them down for the night, make sure they've both got enough water, enough food, and they are all settled in for the evening. So that is my evening routine on nights where I'm spot cleaning the hamsters. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe down below for more hamster content and I will see you all next time. Bye!